Hi everybody, welcome. Um, I'm going to talk for a few minutes just in case there are a few uh, latecomers uh, or later than we're starting late anyway. Um, so my name is Kevin McNally. A lot of you will know me or, or have met me um, and I am the, uh, the I suppose the facilitator <coughs> of uh, the Gamelan, the community music group Gamelan Spreka Gala, who are these people here. Yeah, come on in, there's loads of space <coughs> over on that side there. Over there, this side. Yeah. And um, we are going to play a concert for you. Hello, very Hi. welcome. Um, we are, I, I might remind you of this uh, later, li later on. This is, um, this is the community music group. This is kind of the first public concert we've done in a couple of years. Um, and we are, uh, well, I'm mean, very, very excited to do it. I'll tell you uh, as we go along a little bit more about the, the group and how it operates and where it operates. Um, but um, just for now, yeah, come on in, come on. There's, there's, there's seats over here and there's actually some cushions in the front there if anybody feels like sitting on the floor right in front. Um, uh, but yeah, there's, just, there's, there's, there's seats across there. Don't be afraid at all to walk across. <laughs> You're very welcome to us. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll explain where the music from this concert comes from and the, and the, the concept behind this concert. But uh, the concert is called Blackbird and the Bell. And that is a nod to a couple of things. Um, and one of them is a poem that, um, <laughs> tell that person they can come in. Um, <laughs> one of them is, um, uh, is a poem that you might have all done in school called The Blackbird of Derry Kern, uh, that um, Austin Clark translated and was on the, it was on the Leaving Cert syllabus. Uh, but basically it's, it's, um, it's about the, uh, the, 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 the conflict or the clash between the blackbird representing sort of the old pagan uh, Pre-Christian Ireland and the bell representing the, you know, the, the mass and the um, and the ordered day. So the bell being also we ha have an orchestra here, music of bells, and I'll talk a little bit more about those. Um, and the blackbird representing sort of natural sounds, and we are, are going to play a little bit with natural sounds and um, a and the and the music of the gamelan. So the idea was um, a nod to the work of um, the poet John Moriarty. Who was in the in the original poem? The blackbird and the bell are like in, in conflict with each other. But in, in Moriarty's version, you can have the blackbird and the bell. You know, you can, it, it's about dissolving this kind of um, this false uh, separation between nature and culture. Um, so we're going to have a little go at that. But the first thing I, I'm going to do is I'm going to play a little preparatory piece to get us in the sort of in the space. Um, and another thing that um, that Moriarty talked a lot about was this idea called silver branch perception, which is like the ability to notice the wonder in the everyday and the boring and the, uh, and the local in a lot of ways. And um, it's a kind of an ability, it's like a way of seeing or a way of hearing that you can cultivate, that you can practice, and that you can get better at noticing uh, the small little things of life and actually being happy with those small little things. Um, and when we play music, we're kind of tuning into our environments in a very, very specific way, but it's a way that can be expanded on, upon, I think, and, and it can be uh, used in a wider sense when we, when we think about structures of our society. So, with a little bit of technology, I'm going to play the first little piece on my own. And the idea behind this is that in, in, in the, you know, in, in the, well, what's the word, in the microcosm is the macrocosm, like within everybody is is the whole universe. And the idea in, in, uh, in this piece is that it, within the gong, the single gong here, the big gong instrument, that we can actually we can contain an orchestra in it. And in fact, in Javanese uh, culture, it's in traditional gamelan music, which we are not playing today, but in traditional gamelan uh, music, the gong is considered <coughs> to sort of contain all the rest of the orchestra within it. Um, and therefore, that's why we have, if you notice, there's a few gifts given to the gong here, the flowers, um, just to acknowledge the, um, the sort of the agency of the gong. So I'm going to stop talking now because I will keep on talking. <laughs> um, and um, I will play this first little piece for you.
Because that reminds me of that clip now. Yep. Uh, that's okay. Move down there. Okay. Moving on to the group now. This is the beautiful group of Gamelin Spreker Gala. Um, uh, Bright Sparks Gamelin. So just maybe to tell you a little bit about um, Gamelin music. It uh, comes from the island of Java in Indonesia. And uh, that's not local to West Cork. Um, <laughs> so it is a little bit, there is a little bit of, uh, of an explanation, I suppose. But um, um, there has been a Gamelin presence in Ireland since the... Uh, um, in the in the in the southern part of the Ireland since of Ireland since the 1990s, when uh, Mel Mercer brought it over from uh, from Indonesia to UCC, and so every student who's gone through UCC, myself included, has done uh, uh, at least one semester of Javanese gamelan music, and we uh, it it uh, and then and then I went to Java and learned some more music and came back and now I'm teaching it. Um, and uh, the value of learning about Japanese gamelan music is that it is a completely different way of organizing music, a completely different way of thinking about music, about what is good in music and what is valuable. Um, and um, so we've, we've, it, it's, it's, it's a great benefit to students there. What we're doing now is we're composing music for gamelan ourselves here, and we meet every Wednesday in the Family Resource Centre and we workshop music. We, uh, <coughs> we compose and we improvise and we come up with things. So. The piece we're going to play for you now is called Jonah's 18th. Don't ask about the <laughs> title. <laughs> um, and it's a short little piece that combines some structure with some improvisation. Uh, so you'll hear what we're all about here um, when we do this. Yeah. So I think what I have to do here. What do I have to do? Ah, uh, yeah. You're also going to hear. You're also going to hear um, a little bit of snippets from uh, from uh, John Mariarty himself um, speaking about various things. And uh, we're going to be accompanied by the sound of birds from uh, Castle Street Woods um, making a special guest appearance <laughs> um, on the soundtrack. Um, in honour of the fact that tomorrow at 4am, for those of you who want to come here, there's the bird song, the dawn chorus. So, uh, so if you want to come here at 4am, or if you just want to keep driving on through to the morning, <laughs> <laughs> and then just meet here at 4am to listen to the dawn chorus, that would be a lovely thing. Um, so, John 18th. Um, where is there? There, there, there. Count you in. A, and then A, B, and then slow down. Okay, so, Sandra, if you will. But just imagine someone, a peasant, among his cabbages or among his carrots. And he's bent over his carrots, weeding them. And he doesn't need to be in Grafton Street. He doesn't need to be in the Eurovision Song Contest where all the glamour of the world is like. All the glamour he ever wants is within himself.
I should use this, should I? Um, <coughs> well, funny thing happened to me on the way to the uh, auditorium, folks. Um, what is the deal with the gamelan, huh? <laughs> um, so as they move around, as uh, our wonderful musicians, uh, uh, wonderful um, multi-talented musicians move around, you'll see that everyone ends up playing every instrument at some point, um, which is another feature of the gamelan. Um, so the concert now is, a, uh, this concert, this particular concert is uh, uh, the result of um, research for a PhD that I'm currently uh, doing in uh, the University of Limerick. And um, the research is, let me see if I can remember what it is. <laughs> something about, I don't know, something about, um, uh, no, it's, it's about, um, it's an arts practice PhD, so it's about developing a, a pr uh, an artistic practice, and mine is about um, coming up with a, w a way to facilitate community music or do community music um, uh, in a way that's guided by um, uh, ecological f uh, philosophy, and particularly, um, so, so you've heard of one of, one of my kind of inspirations is, is, is John Moriarty, but there is other stuff too. I have read a lot of books, you know, read lots and lots of books. Um, so the idea is that as well as a thesis, a written thesis, a part of the, r the output is, um, is uh, you know, it could be art, it could be, it could be a novel or, or a thing, but in my case, it's, it's music. So you, you can sort of come to this concert and have the feeling of having read my thesis without actually having to read <laughs> my thesis. But you can read it if you want. Um, so the idea is that, uh, the basic idea is that music models a way of being in the world that is all about connecting, c connection and interdependence. Um, and that sound is a really good way of bringing people into co-presence with each other because sound, I there's no escaping sound, like it binds you together um, no matter what you, uh, you can't, like you can't, there's no uh, ear lids, you can't turn off, you and you don't even hear with your ears fully, you hear with your whole body. So just being in a room with uh, people in sound means that you're all very, very much connected to each other, um, all vibrating in the same sort of field. So sound is quite good at that. Um, and that way of being and uh, knowing the world is actually, um, it's a great way for under understanding uh, entanglement in the kind of ecological sense, the way that everything affects and is affected by everything else. So uh, sound um, and being together in music is a good way of modeling that um, and um, a good way of sort of showing that every action has consequences on every other being um, in, the, in the sort of uh, group. So having said that now, we're going to play, having said all that uh, very deep, uh, meaningful stuff, we're going to play a piece called The Kilna Clash a Cowboy. <laughs> which is the result of, um, of, a, of, of mashing together two songs. One was written for uh, something we did in Kilna Clasha uh, last uh, summer where we filmed something and, and hopefully we'll show the, f the fruits of that this summer, a uh, film that we were a part of. And the other piece, the other part of it just sounded like a cowboy. So we called it the Kilna Clasha Cowboy. Um, so we'll play this. This is our rock and roll number. <laughs>
Lovely. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, so that's the Killing the Clash of Cowboy for you. Um, we are going to move on uh, to um, a piece. Um, we're, we're getting through it quite quickly because um, just because that's the way we, we do it. Um, we're going to move on and we're going to go to a place that uh, to a piece that is um, completely improvised, actually. Um, so that last thing was completely structured. As you could see, everyone was doing the, doing the same thing at the same time. Um, and that's certainly one way of organizing, um, organizing yourself um, and organizing a group. But uh, we also um, like to play around with improvisation. Um, and uh, the other thing that music is very good at, um, as, well as, as well as sound and music being a good way of sort of uh, being in the world and, and knowing the world, it's also a great way of being uh, social and being together and learning how to, um, how to sort of uh, interact with other people and actually other beings. Um, um, and when we play music, we actually, we're, we're, we're actually playing with different structures and different sort of imagining different futures and different types of, uh, of politics and different types of ways of organizing our societies and our economies, actually. Um, and the way we approach this ensemble, uh, we, we take into account not just the agency or the needs of the people in the group, but also the needs of the instruments. And when we improvise along with the sounds of birds or whatever, we're also taking into, that we're also duetting with those <coughs> other non-human agents. And um, it's a sort of a, um, they're du our duet partners. So the, the instruments themselves have a kind of a, a life or, or needs an agency. Um, and a way, yeah, when we're, we're sort of in that kind of sound commons, the birds, the rivers, the whales, um, they all have, we all have to make room for them. And actually that's a good way of thinking about organizing our, um, our politics um, in, a, in an alternative way. Uh, allow space for these non-human voices, kind of decenter the human from the center of decision making um, and, and think about what are the needs of uh, the other entities that we share the space with. And that's basically the, the, the philosophy behind uh, the movement of rights of nature to give uh, legal representation to rivers and forests and things like that. Um, and when we, uh, when we play together like this, we're sort of rehearsing that kind of politics. Um, so I really want, you know, it's great that we have these sort of lovely um, uh, experiences of music and of art that are very personal, but actually it's, it's much more powerful when we bring it out into our lives and into, the, into wider society and it changes the way that we sort of act and vote. Um, and, uh, and then we are also going to play some music. Um, <laughs> yes, so we're going to play um, a, a completely improvised piece. Um, I see that some uh, spare mallets have just arrived as well. <laughs> Um, okay, so this uh, is a uh, yeah, like a, a pretty pretty much fully improvised piece. So um, don't know what's going to happen. We have an idea though. someone who goes and fights the sea. It isn't a hero now, it isn't someone who goes and, and comes home with the greatest number of enemy heads on his chariot. The hero now is not someone who wields a sword.
there was a lot of tuning in to each other there. <laughs> well done. Um, so we're going to have we're going to move around. We have one more piece for you. Um, we have one more piece for you. So um, just a few maybe um, uh, uh, things to point out. Um, this uh, this group happens with the help of the. Well, the f first of all, the uh, instruments arrive by, by the help of the uh, the HSE, but then the, um, uh, uh, the the whole scheme is run with the help of the, the Family Resource Centre in Skibbereen, uh, the ETB, Music Alive, um, and uh, and various other um, helpful groups um, that uh, that help us along. And um, I'd like to thank those and thank CCAST as well for for their help in putting together this um, this. Um, uh, this concert, uh, this show, and um, this is a, a wonderful centre, and I really hope it, it kind of goes from strength to strength. It's a lovely room to play music in as well. Um, and let me just see. La, 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 la. Um, we are uh, we are a community music group. Um, we didn't know if anyone would show up, um, and uh, we we don't uh, make any profits or anything like that. We would appreciate if you did enjoy it uh, to give us a little donation to help cover the costs of this. It would be wonderful. Um, and um, also, I'm going to ask for one thing from you, which is um, your your thoughts and your your your. I want to suck your brains a little bit. Um, outside the uh, outside the door, there's a, a flip chart and a whiteboard uh, with just uh, the question t for you to add some words, just one word or two words or whatever comes to mind to describe the atmosphere of the of the. Uh, of the room, of the space, of the music, whatever comes to mind. Um, it would be help us an awful lot. It would help me, I suppose, <laughs> <laughs> an awful lot, uh, uh, because I'm hungry for data. I'm just <laughs> hungry for it. Can't get enough. Um, so that would, that would help. Uh, so your money and your data. <laughs> All I want. I'm like Apple. <laughs> like, um, so I'd like to thank uh, UL as well, who are uh, represented here by uh, by Alan Dormer and Mara Scunning, who are t uh, recording the the, 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 the visuals. Um, and um, I'd like to thank as well Mel Mercier, who's here, who who started the Gamelin and uh, has been a great teacher and mentor for me and a great friend as well uh, over the years. And um, who who <laughs> who also turned off the lights when we came in, <laughs> did that very important job. Um, and uh, thank you very much to Sandra Omani there, who's who's taken care of the sound and eased my mind. And thanks to Ray Blackwell, who's uh, lent me all the lights, uh, which are currently blinding me and stopping me from seeing where either of those people are. But um, uh, it's it's a great help. And um, um, yeah, so so it's 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 wonderful. It's it's a great. Uh, um, you know, uh, community music and, and communities is, is something I've been researching, and uh, this concert has shown. Uh, if I if I needed it demonstrated that um, that um, the community is always there to kind of give you a help out and, and a dig out to uh, to do um, to do all sorts of things, and also thanking in advance uh, my, f my 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 colleagues from the Irish Gamelin Orchestra, Mel and JJ and Kelly, for the help they're going to give us moving the instruments out. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Um, There's a, a poster there for um, a lovely event that's happening um, in the Family Resource Centre next Friday with Ger Wolf. And I'd like to also draw your attention to Clonakilty Wellness Month. Uh, I have one flyer. I don't know, Lee, if we have any more. They're on the door, yeah. Um, so Clonakilty Wellness Month and a, a load, a load of, of events happening throughout the month of May um, uh, for that uh, event. And... Um, it all, the last thing to do is to thank uh, the wonderful members of Gamelin's Sprecher Gala, uh, Claire and Mary and Lee and Toma and Ethna and Madeline and Penny and Anthea and Claudette and Kevin and Patricia and Geraldine and Andrew, who's not here, uh, but normally is. And um, yeah, thank you very much. And thanks. Uh, yeah, clap away. <laughs> Thank you to my mother for bringing the flowers <laughs> for the gong. And, and to 
Cuan and Grania who helped her. <laughs> um, right, so I won't keep you any longer. This starts uh, with uh, a Q. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Wrong thing. Chuckers. Chuckers. Chuckers, and then the offbeat people, and then the tempo and down. Oh, yeah, sorry, folks, there's a bit of singing in there. <laughs> that you can do. Thank you. 